Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom and for today's video we're going to be having a live battle from the 2007 format. On one side, we've got the Absolutions deck as used by Tom Roos, the Masters Division World Champion of 2007, going up against the Infer Caddy deck. So we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. But before we begin, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and to my Twitter account at Holland underscore Phantom so you don't miss out on any new Pokemon TCG content. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the battle! And here we go, the battle has started, with both players flipping over their starting Pokémon. On the Absol side, we've got Eevee as the active Pokémon with the Mew on the bench. And on the Infernape side, we've got Skitty as the active Pokémon. The Infernape side is going first, benching a Chimchar, and attaching a Fire Energy to Skitty before attacking with Tail Whip. The player flips a coin, which came up heads, so now Eevee cannot attack during this next turn. And on to the Absol side, the player activates Holland Mentor, discarding a Lightning Energy from their hand, to search the deck for up to three basic Pokémon, with 100 HP or less. Okay, there we see two Eevee come into the player's hand, and an Absol. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing the Eevee coming down to the bench, but not the Absol yet. It's best used when there's some damage on the opponent's side. Okay, there's the Eevee coming down. Lightning Energy comes down to the active Eevee. And that's going to be a turn passes, as Eevee cannot attack. Back over to the other side. The player activates their own Holland Mentor, discarding a Fire Energy to search their deck for three basic Pokémon of their own. There we see another Skitty coming down to the bench. Followed by a second Chimchar, and a third Chimchar. I think just filling out their bench. Chimchar is going to be the main attacker of the deck once it evolves into Infernape, while Skitty is the support Pokémon. There's another Tail Whip coming from the active Skitty, and it's another Heads, which means that Eevee still cannot attack. Get back over to the Absol side once again. Let's see what the player can do, starting off with Mary's Request as her supporter, and now they can draw three cards from their deck. The active Eevee evolves into Jolteon EX to activate Evolutionary Thunder, hitting every Pokémon on the opponent's side for 10 damage apiece. There we see all the damage coming down now. Really powerful ability in this format. And now Jolteon gets a Psychic Energy. And there's the attack, Second Bite. Because Eevee evolved into Jolteon, it did nullify the ability of the Tail Whip from the, from the previous turn. And now Skitty is down to just 10 HP remaining. On the Infernape side, the player activates Celio's Network as her supporter for the turn to search the deck for a Delcaddy to add to their hand. And now the Bench Skitty evolves into Delcaddy, and now the player has access to the Energy Draw ability. They activate it to discard a Double Rainbow Energy from their hand to draw three cards from the deck. And let's see what they get. Oh, no more cards are played. There's another attack. Tail Whip once again. And it's going to be a third Heads in a row, so Jolteon cannot attack. Over to the Absol side, the player activates Professor Elm's Training Method to search the deck for an Evolution card. And then it's going to be a second Jolteon being added to the player's hand, which immediately evolves from one of the Bench Eevee to activate another Evolutionary Thunder, and it's going to be enough to take the KO against the opposing Skitty, and hitting everything on the bench for 10 more damage, so the Absol side takes the first prize of the game. A Chimchar comes into the active spot now, and Jolteon cannot attack, so the player passes their turn. Okay, on the Infernape side, there we see another Energy Draw, discarding a Fire Energy from the hand. For three more cards from the deck. Let's see if they have any more evolution cards to play down. Yes, there's a Rare Candy. Rare Candy evolves the active Chimchar into Infernape, finally. Let's see if the player has any energy cards to let this Infernape attack. Yes, there it is, a Double Rainbow Energy to power up the Flare Blitz attack. And one of the bench Chimchar evolves into Monferno first. Okay, and there we see another supporter. It's going to be Holland Last this time, discarding a Windstorm from the hand. Another player can look at the top 11 cards of the deck. One card for each of the remaining prizes for both players. And then the player can keep any of the energy cards that they find off the top of the deck. There's two fire energy. Uh, four fire energy. Okay, it's going to be it. So four energy coming into the player's hand. It's going to be more fodder for the Delcaddy to draw more cards on a future turn. And there's the attack. Flare Blitz discarding the double rainbow energy. And hitting Jolteon for 80 damage. Really powerful attack. So Jolteon is down to just 20 HP remaining. Although it does have a free retreat cost, so it can get out of harm's way. Okay, on the Absol side, the player activates Holland Transceiver as her trainer card. To search the deck for any Holland supporter. And it's going to be another Holland Mentor coming into the player's hand. There we go. It's being activated. This, this time discarding a Darkness Energy for three more basic Pokemon from the deck. Now we're going to be seeing a Holland Voltorb. 
another Eevee, and a second Absol EX. And let's see what else is going to be happening. The Holland's Voltorb gets equipped onto the Bench Eevee as a uh, basic energy, uh, sorry, a colorless energy. And then Jolteon retreats to promote the Eevee. Okay, just uh, reassembling some of the damage. It got scattered around the Jolteon. Okay, there we go. There's the attack call for family. And now the player can search the deck for any basic Pokemon to add to their bench. And the one chosen is going to be Rayquaza EX, a really powerful Pokemon. Okay, now back over to the other side. There's another energy draw, discarding a fire energy once again to draw three more cards from the deck. A lot of draw power coming through from this side. And there we see the supporter, Professor Elm's training method, to search the deck for an evolution Pokemon. And it's going to be a second Monferno. So both of the bench Chimchar evolved into their second form. The first Monferno evolves into another Infernape now, and then the second Monferno gets a fire energy. The active Infernape retreats to promote the Monferno. So it's going to be dealing 30 damage. Oh, never mind. Uh, there we see 2 plus power coming down. Giving it uh, 50 attack points with Flame Dance to, to take the one-hit KO against Eevee. And then Monferno gets a second fire energy equipped onto itself. And now both sides are tied at 5 prizes remaining apiece. The Jolteon EX comes back into the active spot now. It does have 20 HP remaining, but it does have... Uh, two energy cards attached as well, so it's ready to attack. Another Holland Transceiver is activated to search the deck for a Holland Adventurer this time to give the deck a little more draw power. Okay, there's the Adventurer being activated, discarding an Absol this time from the hand to draw three cards from the deck. Okay, there's the cards being drawn. Is the player going to be attaching any energy cards this turn? The Jolteon just needs one more energy to take the KO against Monferno. Oh, but first there we see an Absol coming down, activating its ability Cursed Eyes, moving two damage off the bench Infernape onto the active Monferno. And now it's within range of the second bite attack from the Jolteon. A lightning energy comes down to the Rayquaza, and there's the attack declared. Second bite to take the KO against Monferno, and now Absol is down to four prizes remaining. Although Jolteon does have 20 HP, so it's going to be pretty easily KO'd by any Pokemon. Inferni comes into the active spot now. It does need at least one energy. Okay, there's another Holland Last activating. And this time the player gets to look at the top nine cards of the deck, I believe. Four card, four prizes on the Absol side, five on the Infernape side. Yeah, that's nine cards. And they can keep as many energy cards as they find. So it's one double rainbow energy. Actually, two double rainbow energies and two fire energies. So this Infernape will be able to take the KO with the Flare Blitz attack. Or they can gamble with the Meteor Punch. Okay, there's the energy draw being activated by the Del Caddy, drawing three more cards out of the deck. And there's a double rainbow energy. And the attack is going to be Flare Blitz, discarding the energy off Infernape. And taking the KO against Jolteon, taking two more prizes. And there we go. Infernape is now in the lead. Four prizes range to three. The next Jolteon comes into the active spot now, and a second Rayquaza comes down to the bench, which then gets its own Lightning Energy. Because the Absol side is now behind in the prize race, Rayquaza EX's ability is activated. Rage Aura, which means that their energy, uh, sorry, their attacks no longer require the colorless energy. Another Holland Transceiver is activated, getting the Holland Adventure out of the discard pile to activate once again, discarding a Jolteon EX from the hand to draw another three cards. Jolteon retreats to promote one of the Rayquaza. And now Rayquaza can attack with Special Circuit for just one energy card. Another Eevee comes down to the bench, and there's the attack. Special Circuit sniping the bench in front of for 30 damage. It's a pretty good attack. They can hit any Pokemon on the opponent's side for 30 damage, but if that Pokemon has a Poke Power or Poke Body, it will deal 50 damage instead. Okay, on the Infernape side, there's a Holland Transceiver. Searching a, an adventurer out of the deck, and also a Skitty came down to the bench. The adventurer is activated, discarding a fire energy from the hand for three more cards out of the deck. And it looks like the Infernape side's deck is running pretty thin. They've drawn a ton of cards so far. There's the next um, energy draw, drawing another three cards. And there's a rare candy. Oh, here we go. Rare candy evolves Skitty directly into Delcata EX. That was back in the format where you can use. Uh, rare candy on the first turn that the Pokemon was in play. So Skitty was able to evolve immediately. And there's the attack upstream. 
It does 10 damage for every energy card in the discard pile. So this might be a one-hit KO. Let me see. Um, I've already lost count, but let's see how much damage it deals to Rayquaza. Um, yeah, it looks like it was a one-hit KO. Wow, that's amazing. So massive uh, one-hit KO against Rayquaza, taking two more prizes, and now Infernape is down to just one prize remaining. Jolteon comes back into the active spot, acting as a pivot between turns, as it does have the free retreat cost. The player does have a second Rayquaza to use its Rage Aura ability. The player activates Holland Scientist, and now they can draw cards until they have the same number of cards as their opponent, and that was a ton of cards on the Infernape side. It's one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine cards. Wow, that's amazing. The Bench Eevee evolves into Espeon EX, so I activate its ability Devo Flash, de evolving the Benched Infernape. And because the Chimchar was heavily damaged, it is immediately KO'd, so the Absol side takes their third prize so far. A Psychic Energy comes down to the Mew EX, and then Jolteon retreats to promote their second Rayquaza. And there's the attack. Special Circuit to take the KO against uh, Delcaddy. And then it's the second KO taken. So it looks like the Absol side is starting to make a comeback. Just two prizes remaining. Okay, on the Infernape side, there we see a hole in Adventurer discarding a Fire Energy to draw three cards out of the deck. Delcaddy cannot hit for um, that massive attack again because all that energy from the discard pile was shuffled back into the deck. Okay, the Infernape comes back into the active spot. It has a double rainbow energy, and now Delcaddy activates Constrain. And now both players have to discard cards in their hand until they have six cards remaining in their hand apiece. Okay, and that is a lot of cards being discarded by both sides. Yeah, a lot of uh, trainers and resources being discarded by the Absol side. Okay, and there we see the attack Flare Blitz, discarding the double rainbow energy and hitting Rayquaza for 80 damage. So it's down to just 30 HP remaining. Rayquaza is within KO range. And it gets a multi-energy, and then it discards both of them to pay their retreat cost. And then the player promotes their Mew EX. Mew has the Pokebody Versatile, letting it copy the attack of any Pokemon in play. And it looks like it's going to be co copying the upstream attack from the Delcaddy. Let's see, there's two energy in the discard pile. Three, four, five, six, uh, seven. How many more? Eight... Nine. Oh, this might be a one-hit KO. Ten. Yeah, that's exactly enough. Actually, eleven. Hitting for 110 damage. So it looks like that Constrain ability from the Delcaddy in the previous turn helped to power the Mew attack. And now both sides are tied at one prize remaining apiece. Delcaddy is the final Pokemon on the Infernape side. And we know that it can't deal that much damage right now because there's not enough energy in the discard pile to take the KO against Mew. But the player activates Holland Transceiver to get back the Holland Adventure. They discard Infernape level X from their hand to draw three cards from their deck. And let's see what they can do. They could still attack with a second attack, though. Although it does need three energy. Oh, and the player can't do anything. They just passed their turn. Okay, back over to the Absol side. They have an opportunity to deal massive damage to this Delcadia. Holland's cast form comes down to the Mew, counting as a double rainbow energy. And now Mew can copy the... Special Circuit attack from the Rayquaza. And now Delcaddy is down to just 40 HP remaining. If they can't take the KO against Mew this turn, they will lose the battle. Okay, there we see another Holland Adventure discarding a Warp Point, drawing three more cards from the deck. And let's see what they can do. It's now or never. If they can discard nine, car nine energy cards from their hand, they can take the KO against Mew. Okay, they can discard four with Constrain. And I don't... I forgot how many they have in the discard pile already, but that's at least 40 damage. Okay, there's two more plus power. So we know they can deal at least 60 damage. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's going to be enough for the KO with the plus power. And Delcaddy pulls it off. There's the final attack upstream to take the final KO and the final prize. And there's the handshake. Infernape is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help the channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.